Hi guys, this is Mitri Rivera, and I'm going to be teaching you today how to access your Tumble books and your digital library for Cypher ISD. Hola, buenas. Este es Mitri Rivera, y hoy le voy a estar enseñando cómo acceder a las plataformas digitales de lectura para sus niños que están en el listo que todo Cypher. First, let's go into Google. So once we're in Google, we're going to go ahead and we're going to type over here CFISD. Lo primero que vamos a hacer es que en Google vamos a buscar el nombre del distrito, el cual es CFISD. And then we're going to click on it. You're going to see it here at home. Vas a encontrar el home, and then you're going to click it. Then you're going to go to parent and students. Please do not click on it because it's going to take you somewhere else. Just place your mouth under it. Vas a encontrar padres y estudiantes, los recursos para ustedes. Por favor, no le haga, um, no le haga click con el mouse porque entonces te va a llevar a otra página completamente diferente. We're then going to find library resources. This may be somewhere different than in my page, but it's going to be right there under academics. Um, vamos a buscar recursos de biblioteca y puede que no estén en el mismo lugar que yo, pero sí va a estar en esta página. Let's click on it. And once you do, there are two different ways to do this. I'm going to show you both. Just in case one of them don't work, you can do it the other way. Luego de que le hagas clic, vas a tener dos opciones de cómo acceder a la información. Te las voy a enseñar las dos. Por si acaso una no te funciona, entonces tengas la otra como opción. First, we're going to scroll down. And you're going to notice that it's going to say digital resources. And you're going to find your database and your ebook resources. For this particular video, we're going to go into ebook resources and we're going to touch on Tumblebook. Vas a bajar la página y vas a encontrar que dice recursos digitales y para este video en particular vamos a ver Tumblebooks. You're going to click on it and it's going to tell you, hey, I'm going to take you somewhere else. Are you okay with this? Yes, we are. That's what we want to do. Se te va a preguntar, vamos a ir a otra página, ¿estás de acuerdo con esto? Sí, estamos de acuerdo, eso es lo que queremos. That's it. You're in Tumblebooks. But now, all you need to make sure to do is that you have um, your password and username. Username and password. You're going to type for my students, you're going to type Yoel. That would be J-O-W-E-L-L. -L. And then for password, it's going to be CFISD, just like the district. Para mis estudiantes, ahora lo que te toca hacer sería poner el username, que sería el nombre de nuestra escuela, Joel, y el password, que es CFISD. And then you click sign in. And that's it. You're here. Now you're going to have access to storybooks, read-alongs, ebooks, graphic novels, non-fictions, videos, language learning, playlists, puzzles, and games etc. And the cool thing about this app is that you just touch the book and it will give you all the tools you need in case your kid needs support for him or her to read the book. Um, everything is going to be available and I'm going to show you that right now. Padres, ahora que estás aquí, vas a tener acceso a absolutamente todo. A, li a libros que estén leídos por la computadora hacia sus niños, Um, ficción, a ficción, videos, todo. Y lo mejor de esto es que una vez tocas el libro, te va a dar la opción para que el libro se lea solo, en caso de que sus niños necesiten algún tipo de ayuda. Entonces la computadora les va a ayudar a leerles el libro. Especialmente es genial para los niños que están aprendiendo un segundo idioma. So let me show you an example of how it's going to look like. Let's say that I want to see Marvelous Cornelius. Let's click on it. You're going to have all the information, including to read it, read it online, online, to add to your favorite so you can make your own little collection, <clears throat> quizzes, book report, etc. Una vez le das click, vas a tener todas estas opciones. Leerlo online, añadir a favoritos, tener quizzes o exámenes cortos. Exámenes cortos, um, reporte del libro, 
y luego cuando lo abra va a tener todos los distintos recursos del que le estaba hablando. So let's open it up. Once you open it, it's going to load it a little bit slow at first, but then you're going to have everything you need. Notice that it can read the book automatically, like you just hit play and it will switch pages by itself as it reads. Or um, you can do it manually so that when the, the kid is done reading that page, they can just click to switch the pages. You have to move, um, turn up the volume to have the help of the readers off. So that way your kid gets to read it by itself instead of the computer helping them out. And then all you need to do is play it. As you can see, the book is going to read itself. And not only that, it's going to have the lines um, highlighted for you in different ways. Like some books is going to... Um, darken the letters so that you can see what it's reading at the same time. Some others are going to highlight it yellow. It depends on book. Um, so padres, lo que vas a notar es que a la izquierda vas a tener para cerrarlo, um, si te equivocaste del libro, para ponerlo en automático, que significa que el libro se va a leer completamente solo. Luego debajo tienes para hacerlo manual, para subir el volumen o bajarlo, um, para pagar la ayuda auditiva que provee el libro y luego una vez le das um, al botón de play de empezar vas a ver que cada oración va a tener algún tipo de, de motivo diferente dependiendo de cómo se va leyendo algunos libros solamente va a poner las letras en negrillas en otras ocasiones te la va a hacer como un highlight en amarillo todo depende del libro pero te va a dar desde el porcentaje que estás leyendo hasta por dónde va el niño leyendo. So, this is tumble books. This is tumble books. Now I'm going to teach you how to do it in a different way. Let's say that, yeah, teacher, that's wonderful, but I really couldn't get there. Um, when I clicked on tumble books, it didn't allow me to do anything at all. Well, if you came here and you could not go directly by tumble books, there's another way to do it. Quizás estás pensando, fabuloso, qué bueno, pero no puedo entrar. Esa manera no me funciona. ¿Hay alguna otra manera? Yes, there is. Um, si la hay. So, we're going to go, and we're going to go as normal, right? We go to Google, Cypress, Fairbanks, and then we go into Library Resources, which is this page that I'm right now. <clears throat> and then you're going to click this green button that says Find Your Campus Library. So you're going to click on it. Una vez vuelvas a esta página de Library Resources, le vas a dar ese botón verde que dice Encontrar uh, tu, tu librería escolar. And then you're going to see on the left that it says Elementary School. That's where you're going to look for your child's school. A la izquierda te va a dar una columna llena de escuelas que son elementales. Solamente tienes que bajar y encontrar la tuya. You're going to scroll down until you see your school. In my case, Joel Elementary. You're going to click on it. And once you click, you're going to have all of these amazing resources for your child. We're going to select Language Arts. Vas a encontrar que una vez le des a la escuela de tu preferencia, vas a encontrar todos los recursos que tu niño pueda acceder, incluyendo los de matemáticas y lectura. Vamos a tocar los de lectura. Language Arts. Now, you're going to see the resources that are, that are specifically to your school. Every school have different amount of resources right here. But all of these resources have to do with reading specifically. Vas a ver que aquí solamente va a tener todos los recursos que la escuela en la que participas específicamente tiene. Pero en esta ocasión, aquí todos van, los recursos van a ser solamente de lectura. In this case, you can see that we have BrainPop. This is very used both in English and Spanish and Junior. Vocabulary, this is a marvelous resource for students. And we have Storyline, which is another library, and the one that we are talking about today, Tumble Books. All you need to do is click on it, and it will take you right there. Padres, vas a encontrar um, BrainPop, que es una de las aplicaciones más utilizadas en la escuela. 
tanto en inglés como en español, vas a encontrar, encontrar vocabulary que está lleno de canciones interac eh, educativas para sus niños, Storyline es otro tipo de biblioteca online o en línea y de la que estamos hablando hoy, que es Tumble Books. Solamente tienes que darle clic. Once you click it, there you have it. Make sure that you put your username and password before you go into the books so that you can enjoy of all, the, um, all of the library resources that are being offered for your kids. Thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful in any ways. If you still have any doubts or questions, you can text me, email me, or set, um, call me, and I'll be happy to help you. Hope you have a great day. Bye, guys.